everybody, this is Raul Wolf for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we have the great honor and pleasure of getting together with one of our great pillars of the Bass Musician Magazine family, contributing writer Jaime Vasquez, coming to you directly from Puerto Rico, uh, the island of enchantment on a lovely sunny day there, while here in the States we're having snow and rain and all kinds of stuff. So Jaime, so good to see you again. Um, My pleasure. Very happy. There you go. Very happy. The last time we had a chance to chat, and hopefully you guys have noticed that Jaime has a huge body of work in Bass Musician Magazine, uh, Bass Lines. If you just do a search, you'll find pages and pages of Jaime's transcriptions of all of these songs and all this work. We're ever so grateful and fortunate to have him helping us break down these tunes and helping you learn them. Um, but we had a chance to chat in 2012, back when uh, we had gone down to Puerto Rico. But for those of you that haven't had a chance to see that, Jaime, tell us a little bit about your beginning. How did you get started with music and the bass and, and all that? Well, I started at 16 years old and I was first, at first I was a guitar player. I was learning some piano lessons too, and then uh, I decided to learn theory, learn how to read music, everything about the music. And I went to the university, the Inter-American University, uh, San Germán campus, mm -hmm. to study music education. And then I know a lot of friends, musicians too, and there I decided to, to play the bass, to play the bass guitar. I was in love completely with the instrument. I was practicing more the bass than the guitar and the other instruments. So I started to play with bands. Uh, I was playing with some artists. I get the chance, I got the chance to play some tours, uh, to record some albums. And then I decided to change my studies from guitar to the bass and double bass too. Gotcha. It was it was a great experience. I love the instrument and and that's it. That was it. I was a fan of music since I was a little child. Mm -hmm. I was open to all styles of music uh, from jazz, rock, pop classic everything and i love it gotcha I, I i think i think that music is part of my life is is something that i can i can live without music trust me i i'm always working 24 7 on music i i think that i'm not working i'm living the music that's the deal that's gotcha. the real thing and i'm very happy i'm proud to do that every day of my life i got you and to share and to share the knowledge with the new generations and with other people who wants to play music and who wants to understand what music is all about. Mm -hmm. So you you were in the school and, and I know people, if anybody has ever visited Puerto Rico, you know that it's a very rich musical place and there's the traditional music and there is an influx of external music and there's a an evolution. Um, I remember when I lived there, they, you know, they almost could classify people by the kind of music that they were playing. So they were rockeros if they were playing rock. They were salseros if they were playing salsa. Uh, they were, they were just starting to do a lot of the the conjunto típico, the typical kind of music. It was having a big comeback, um, but. It, it, it was constant from from all kinds of angles and so I'm not surprised that you would be as involved with music however um, I think for many people it stays at a very amateur level and they don't make it their life mission and so tell us more you you're playing with with bands you, you, so you came from school and then what happened next well I started to make some tour with some top artists and recording some albums. Uh, I had the chance to play all styles of music. 
and for survive in Puerto Rico, the music scene, you need to, to be an overall musician. Gotcha. For example, in a, on a weekend I have a gig, for example, on Friday, uh, jazz music, mm -hmm. Saturday, rock music, Sunday, pop music, <laughs> and so on. And you have to be prepared, and you have to be ready to play all styles in the best way. Gotcha. And I know we had talked a little bit about, because you mentioned education, um, in addition to bass lines, which is in our format, you've been involved with Berkeley School of Music as far as the educational platform. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I started out to work with Ruben Amador, Juan Antonio, and other ones. And we are a, a great team. We are making real the the BIN. The BIN is known as the Berkeley International Network right here in Puerto Rico. And we're making a, a great work together as a team uh, to develop new artists, new, new musicians, and prepare them for Berkeley and for all the music business world, you know. We've been working with, with them uh, on ensembles, theory, uh, ear training, playing the instruments on techniques. Mm -hmm. uh, we have at the end of every every semester we have a full concert of our students. Uh, it's a great experience for the students, for the fathers, and for us too. Yeah. And we are developing new artists, new bands, new musicians. And it's a very beautiful experience. Excellent. And the education is so important because also when I was there, I know a lot of very good musicians, we played by ear because there wasn't yeah. anybody that could teach you really much of anything. And if, if you were playing uh, like cuatro, there wasn't a book of anything. So you would basically just listen and go, okay, I... I, I, I can I can play this this little tune. So the growth in the formal stages of education is is very very important. Um, also, do you do you teach private lessons as well? Yeah. Also, I I'm doing online based based lessons on Skype. Okay. And it's good. It's good too. Also, I have. Uh, private lessons too. Uh, I'm doing a lot of uh, stuff on music education. Also, I'm working with bass tips for uh, bassbooks.com. Okay. And okay. you can check out these uh, these great articles and every newsletter for bassbooks.com. And I'm here with the best family in the whole world, Bass Musician Magazine too. It's a pleasure for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing. Not only the playing stuff, the performing stuff and recording sessions, and very, very deep into music education. Nice. Well, we've, we've been seeing that, unfortunately, it's an area that I think people have been hoping the schools would be able to do, but they don't have the money necessarily to, to do it as, as much as we would like. So it really hinges on musicians like yourself to kind of pick up and, 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 and make sure these kind of things happen. Now, in addition to education, I know you've been working on some projects uh, with recording and some TV work and some other things. Tell us a, a little bit about that. Well, uh, I've been working on TV shows, fest, radio stations, also on television, with all kinds of of programs about music and all the stuff. Uh, for example, I'm, I'm still working on the video of the moment for What's In TV. What's in TV. Uh, also, I'm working for Explosion uh, from radio. I was working with Beat 90 FM, a jazz station, for a while. Also, I'm working, uh, wow, I, I'm working all the 
<laughs> Everything about the music, I don't know how I can explain how I I wake up every day with the same energy and do everything. It's love, it's passion, it's passion, it's passion, it's, it's love what you do, love to do what you do every day, and you will have all the energy to do that. Um, right now, I have a lot of surprises for all the fans of bass players and bass players. Mm -hmm. uh, a great composer of danzas in Puerto Rico, Luciano Quiñones, has done a very beautiful danza exclusive for the bass guitar, where the bass guitar is the main instrument there. And I will be recording it. Um, we'll be pretty soon mm -hmm. showing this beautiful masterpiece to the whole world, showing what danza is all about in a very special way, like never before, where the bass guitar is the main instrument. Also, right now, I'm working with the amazing double bass players, uh, bass player, the Mr. Hector Tirado. Uh, we're making a very special project, a double bass together with the bass guitar, electric bass guitar. And it's an amazing project because we're working some great compositions and we're trying to interact the bass guitar, the six string bass guitar mm -hmm. together with the double bass. Nice. There are some of the stuff that very special that I'm working for the bass. Also I'm playing with a lot of bands with some solo artists like Janina, Jose Alfredo, eh, Luis Guillermo, uh, I'm playing right now with a lot of music from different styles. I also have my own projects from jazz music and instrumental stuff with the bass as the main instrument, nice. playing the melody and the solos. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm playing with uh, tropical music, pop music, rock music, blues, top 40 music. Every covers, originals, everything. <laughs> I'm recording, I will be this weekend uh, recording uh, some songs for a whole new artist. And wow, I, I'm doing a lot of things. I guess the organization is the key for everything. Got you. Well, and you couldn't possibly do it, I'm sure, without the support of a lot of good companies as well. And I can't help but noticing your Groove Gear uh, jacket. And uh, your yeah. Lafon T-shirt again, having good endorsed companies yeah. helps. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your gear. What what are you playing with? Wow, uh, I ha I have the chance to play and to use and to be endorsed with great brands like Roof Gear and Lathon Basewear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, I use MTD. Michael Tobias design bases, uh, great instruments. Uh, I'm with Ashdown working together with Mark Goodday mm -hmm. uh, on amplification, and also I'm using Synth Streams, uh, Analysis Plus cables, uh, Eminence speakers, uh, the Scratch Pad guitar finish protectors for for the bass for the back of the bass. Uh, are you, I'm using sometimes some if effects uh, like eventized on boxes. Uh, I'm playing too with using the some pedals and some stuff from Morley pedals. Uh, I use hip shot hardware for the for the bass. Mm -hmm. I'm with Delano pickups, they're from Germany and electronics too uh, well i guess that they're all <laughs> it's it's a lot it's a uh, lot of support yeah i guess that if you're gonna play you're gonna record you're gonna practice you're gonna do gonna give lessons you will need to use the the gear mm -hmm. that you like and that you want it's your sound it's how it feels 
Sure. The way you look too, it's good. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it, um, it gives you your voice. You know, that's the. Of course. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And I'm very happy. I, I guess that, and I believe that endorsements helps the musician a lot to to open the doors for new for new possibilities for new for new jobs mm -hmm. for new chances on music you know music business is is challenging is it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle and if you have all these people working together with you you will have like an army beside you yes helping you every day and I guess that it's a blessing. It's a blessing for a musician. I feel blessed for that. And I'm very thankful for, for all their help, and support, and everything. So with as busy as you are and doing so many things, looking ahead to the future, what would you like to do? What, what, what would you, because again, you've got, I know, shows and recordings and things, but really kind of down you going one day I want to do this what is what what is your a goal for you to make the voice of the bass guitar more famous every day the bass uh, it doesn't matter if it's a upright or double bass or acoustic bass or baby bass mm -hmm. or electric bass they have a very beautiful voice, a very special voice, and it's not. You can, it's, it's okay if you're playing just grooving, laying down the groove with the band. But when you play melodies, you play good solos on bass, you will hear something completely different, completely special. It's a whole different approach for the musician on improvisation or doing your solos, mm -hmm. or interacting with the other bands, or the, with the other musicians on the band. Uh, I want to, to make more famous the bass solo part. There are many, many others doing that, and that's great, that's good. People need to know that uh, the bass guitar is a very beautiful voice that can play the lead, can be the, the main voice. And, that's what I'm doing. This is not the future. I'm doing this yeah. before yeah. and right now, and I will continue to do that. That's my main goal there. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, and what advice would you have for young musicians that might see you? Let's say somebody hears you playing and goes, wow, I never realized what a great instrument the bass is. What, what suggestion would you have? Because I know it's hard. I mean, there's a lot of work involved. But if you could yes, give yes. like a young Jaime, if you could give a young Jaime some advice, what would you tell him? You know, make sure you do okay. this. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not easy to do that because it's a lot of work. It's, it's an extra that you have to do. It's, it's overtime practicing, overtime playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you have to work, you have to do all your job as a bass player, uh, playing for someone else, for, uh, recording session, studying, uh, giving, teaching, everything. Mm -hmm. But I will say that the best way to do that is to learn not from, only from basses, from bass players. Uh, learning from everybody, every kind of music, every musician you you can hear, uh, and instruments too. For example, I lo I love to to transcribe. Uh, sax solos, trumpets, uh, guitar solos, piano solos, and adapted them to to the bass guitar, to my approach to the bass solo, because it's a different way, different techniques. You have to to make song arrangements because every instrument has their limitations, and it's a different way to play or or to, to create new uh, ideas or melodies or phrasing. Mm -hmm. For example, if you're, if you're learning a sax solo and then you're learning a guitar solo, you will see or you will hear 
to different kinds of play. And it's nice to interact between them and try to learn, okay, I will study that, I will study that too, I will try to make a fusion into that stuff and learn from that and try to adapt it to adapt this to my bass play into my bass solos and see how it sounds how what can it be done mm -hmm. and what not because it depends on the limitations of every instrument and it's very nice because you learn how everything how every how everyone how every instrument has a different approach for improvisation, for making solos, for making a melody. Mm -hmm. And that's a very good point to start to learn how to develop the solo parts of your bass playing. It's also good to learn bass solos from other bass players too. It's mm -hmm. good. But if you learn from other instruments and musicians, you will find some, some beautiful parts that are normally you don't hear on a bass player. Gotcha. And that makes you a, a better soloist. And it will give you more vocabulary mm -hmm. for your bass solos too. So I will tell to that young Jaime and to all <laughs> beginners who wants to be a solo bass player mm -hmm. and to learn from everything, all styles, learn theory, technique, with music, uh, be aware and open mind to to everything on music and try to to make it on your instrument. Try to adapt every lick, every melody, every technique to to your instrument and make your voice be heard. Gotcha. And make it different. Be special. It's not a copy and paste stuff. No, it's not that. It's just, it's just to be creative and try to be a special voice. Gotcha. That someone else hears solo says, oh, okay, that's Jaime David Vasquez. Oh, okay, that, this is Jaco Pastorio. Oh, okay, this is John Patitucho. Oh, yeah. Richard Bonner. That's it. To get that recognition of being unique. Yeah, that's true. That's Excellent. true because this is her voice. I the bass you. guitar is my voice. It's my language. Music is my language and the bass guitar is my voice. There you go. That's it. So simple. <laughs> Very good. Well, that is excellent advice, Jaime. Where would people, if they want to know more about what you're doing, where's the best place for people to look up your information? A website? My website, Jaime David Vasquez dot com mm -hmm. and there you can find all my red, uh, my inter internet networks like Facebook my fan page Jaime David Vasquez uh, Instagram uh, Twitter and there you can find me at every moment and you can you can talk to me and always I like to, to meet new people and to talk with everybody, share knowledge and everything about that. And there you can find me and watch everything I'm doing every day. I, I'm a working musician. There you go. Well, I'm working every day. We, we are so... Uh, really, I'm not working. I'm living the, the music. <laughs> I'm living the life of being a musician, an artist. It's that. Well, and you <laughs> it's know, more there's... Than there's, there's nothing wrong with being a working musician. Um, just in uh, for our last month, uh, for our February cover, uh, when I was talking to Lee Sklar, he he describes himself as a working musician. You know, this is yeah. this is a very valuable and important thing. Of course it is. Of course it is. And um, as he said, uh, you have to love what to what you do. Yeah, it's a passion. Yeah. That's it. If you're a working musician, do it with all your love, with all your passions. Have fun, enjoy the music, and make everybody happy with your music. Totally. That's it. That's the idea. This is this is a very beautiful career for every for everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, because we. Your, 
yeah, we appreciate you being able to take time. You're obviously so busy. I mean, we caught you here even in your car. This is <laughs> it's, it's a pleasure for me. Don't worry. It's okay. I'm so happy. It's a great honor for me to be sharing all with all of you around the world, all the bass players and mm -hmm. fans of bass playing. Uh, I love it. Uh, I, I'm here for you and for all the people around the world. Bass Musician Magazine is very special for me. Well, we, we appreciate it's, your... It's my home. It's my home. That's right. We're family. That's, that, that is that's yes, the that's absolute it. truth. We are, we are a great family. Well, I won't keep you any further. People, make sure you keep track of all of these great things that Jaime is working on. Danza is a music form from Puerto Rico that is extraordinarily beautiful. You really have to hear it to grasp what it's about. I wouldn't even begin to describe it. But there's just so many fantastic things that, that he's got going on. Uh, so don't, you know, look him up, talk to him, uh, watch for bass lines in the future. I know Jaime's working always on something new. I don't know how he does it. He, he's so busy, he's doing so many things. But music is all up, it's, it's the magic. Mass music is the magic. <laughs> there you go. Well, everybody, you've seen Jaime David Vasquez directly from his car in Puerto Rico coming to you, <laughs> Bass Musician Magazine.